to accomplish this, I'm going to make a selection. And I'm looking over at the other side, seeing how much space might I need. I might need an entire you know, eyebrow, eyelash kind of uh, area. So I'm going to make a selection quite large way out here, just in case I need it. Come in and maybe get about half the nose, or even a little bit more. It's not like you can overshoot that much. Uh, you can always mask it out. I'll select that, and I'm going to copy it to its own layer. So Command-J should do that. Control-J in Windows. Then I'm going to take it and go to the Edit menu, Transform, and I'm going to flip horizontal. I'll use my Move tool, and with that, I can move it over this direction. And I'm going to get the nose to kind of line up a bit. It's kind of the center of the nose and the nostril is where I'm thinking to begin with. Just getting a little bit right there. Her head looks a little too wide and a little <laughs> angled, but what I can do now is I can transform this. Now, if I'm going to scale and rotate and I want to be able to easily change it later on, I could turn it into a smart object because then the scaling and the rotating is just a setting attached to the layer that I could always turn off later on or make changes at any time. It is optional though. Sometimes with retouching like this, I don't bother with it. Um, but just so you're aware, you could do that. Uh, I'm going to do it here because it's going to make it so I can just fine tune things later if I need to. I'll go to the Edit menu. I'll choose Free Transform. And when I do, you get little transformation controls on this. And if I move my mouse outside of this rectangle, I can click. And if I drag, you see how it can rotate? But when you rotate, it pivots it around the center. And I would rather have it at the moment pivoted around the tip of her nose, because that's the part that I kind of lined up in the photo. So I can actually click on this little crosshair that's in the center. That's what determines where it pivots from. And I'm just going to move that to the tip of her nose, like that. Okay. So that now, if I move my mouse outside of this transformation rectangle, I click and I drag, you see it's pivoting it from her nose. And so I'm just going to see if I can visualize. And if you have trouble seeing this with the little transformation controls on it, just type Command H to hide them. Type Command H a second time and they'll come back. But you just need to remember that you're outside of the uh, shape so that you're going to be rotating. Sometimes one side of the photograph will be a little further away from the camera than the other, or sometimes somebody, one eye is a little smaller than the other, that type of thing. So I might also need to scale this a little bit. I'm looking at her cheek here and seeing the edge of her cheek over here from the original photograph is not going out as far as what we have here. So I think I might make this a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll move my mouse to where I think the corner handles would be because I have them hidden. And I just watch my mouse for feedback. Can you see here? I think I'm on a side handle because I just go left, right. Right about there, I think I'm on a corner handle. I'll click and I'll hold shift to make sure I don't distort this. I'll bring it down just a little bit. Maybe about like that. You can move this around also if you use the arrow keys on your keyboard. You should be able to nudge it up, down, left, or right. And I think I'm going to bring mine in a little bit so that her cheek and her nose, I think, ends up looking somewhat appropriate. So I'm getting somewhat close. Okay. When you're done, you can press Return or Enter, which I just did. And now I'm going to end up masking this so that the main thing is I'm trying to get a good transition from what I've put into its surroundings. And so I'll add a layer mask at the bottom of my Layers panel. And I'll grab my brush, and I'll paint with black with a very soft brush because I don't want you to easily tell where I've painted. So I'm getting it soft. And I'm just going to paint right here. Try to blend that in. And I don't remember underneath what's missing or what's wrong. So I'm a little bit blind when it comes to where I need to paint. I'll somewhat guesstimate that. And then I don't know what's under it right there, but I'll find out maybe about like that. Okay. All right. So now let's zoom out and see what we're getting. I'll turn off the eyeball before, after. I think it's an improvement. Uh, and if you want to see original, I'll hide all the way down to the bottom layer before, 
after, I think I'm getting somewhat there. 